Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my third video in my series on bone reading. In the first video, I introduced you to the bones themselves and gave you a little bit of background on what each one of them could mean or, or what they mean to me. In my second video, I explained how a bone can be read in relation to where it fell in the crossroads of the world, which is what you see as the sort of circled cross. Today, we are going to talk about bone relationships. And what I mean by bone relationships is how the meaning of a bone can change when it falls within proximity of another bone. So as you can see, this is gonna be a different bone set from what you saw in my first video. And I keep this little bone set in this little basket, which I actually found at um, the thrift shop. And this little bone set stays on my aunt, ancestor altar where um, I feel like the ancestors speak to me through these bones, they cleanse them, um, you know, the bones are, are, are shared with them. They don't belong to me. They belong to me and them. And the spirit of the plants or animals represented by the bones. So, as you can see, I have different little things here. I have a shell, a chicken bone, a turtle shell. Um, I have a white cross and a black cross that were given to me by a friend, which represent blessings and, and bane or negativity. And there's a bunch of other different little bones here that you're going to see. So as an example of how bones can be read in relation to one another, let's take this one. This is, let me move these aside real quick so everyone doesn't get confused. So this is a high John root. I call this the atom bone, and it represents men, or it can represent a specific man uh, in a reading. And again, in regards to the crossroads of the world, it can be read in relation to past, present, or future, depending on where it falls. But let's say it falls next to the, I'm gonna pick here. This is a piece of lightning struck wood that I um, got and it represents the element of fire in my bone reading. So if these bones were to fall close to one another, I might say that this is a man who has a fiery temperament or a fiery temper. temper. Um, he may be unreliable, but someone who's very exciting when he is in your life. He may re be represented by, uh, he may represent rather someone who is a fire sign in uh, astrology, and that would be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, right? Um, he could even, rep I associate fire with the color red. It could represent a man who has red hair, um, and that's about it. Um, so let's see, next, well, let's just continue with the elements. So now, this is a buffalo tooth, and in my bone reading, it represents the element of earth. So now we have an earthy man. This is someone who's very grounded and down to earth, while everyone else around you is, you know, being excited or stressed out. He's usually very grounded and in, 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 in touch with reality and what have you. He can represent um, one of the earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. In terms of looks, he may be someone who has darker hair, darker eyes. He may dress in earthy colors. He may even be associated with um, the earth in some way, depending on your intuition and th the question being asked. And what do I mean by being associated with the earth? Well, he could be a farmer. He could be someone who um, digs graves. Um, going back to the firebone, this could represent a fireman, you know? It happens. <laughs> Uh, let's go with air. This is the wing bone of a chicken, and just to make it all pretty, I put these little dots on it. Plus, when I see three, I go fire, earth, air. Um, so this represents air. So, and again, with the, the air bone next to the man bone, this could be an air-headed man. 
It could be someone who's quite intellectual, um, someone who's very mental. Um, it can represent someone who is an air sign, which would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I associate the color uh, yellow with the air bone, so it can um, represent a fair-haired man, such as a blonde man. And finally, I have a shell, which represents water. And here we have a man who is in touch with his emotions. Uh, that can be good or bad. He can be overly emotional or just the right balance of emotions, depending on how the bones um, fall and your intuition or how your spirits speak to you. Um, he can represent someone who is one of the water signs, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. He can be someone who is very attuned with the element of water. For example, he could be a surfer, a lifeguard, um, anyone who works with water. He can even be your pool boy, I suppose. Um, and so, there we go. And then I have, now this is Queen Elizabeth Root. And anything, and it represents women or in general or a specific woman. And anything I said about the elements with the high John Root and a man can represent uh, with a woman. Let's keep her here and go to. Now let's pull another bone. I'm going to say here. This is a turtle shell, which I've had for a very long time. And I call this the spirit bone because turtle was my first totem. And turtle is still with me to this day. So with the spirit bone next to the woman bone, this could represent a spiritual woman. She could be um, a minister a priestess, a reader, or just, you know, your average woman who's very religious or in touch with her, her spirit, right? Now let's take a bone that doesn't really, um, let's go with, oh, here we go. This is a large evil eye bead, and I was fortunate to get a green one because, you know, we, we know jealousy is referred to as the green-eyed monster, so... The evil eye bone next to the woman bone can represent a jealous woman. Okay, let's see. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is the um, prosperity bone in this bone set. You'll notice earlier I had a coin, which is a mercury dime. And some people would not automatically assume that maybe the coin represents money, but it actually represents choices because people often flip coins for a yes or no decision. Mercury is the guardian of the crossroads, and crossroads often represent choices. So anyway, back to the nutmeg. Um, the nutmeg represents prosperity, so the nutmeg with the eve bone can represent a rich woman or a prosperous woman, right? Okay, now let's see what else do we have here. Let's go back to the spirit bone, because we're off. We often work with spirits and hoodoo and folk magic. So, let's say you have the spirit bone, and it falls next to the. This here is a raccoon penis bone, and in this bone set, it represents love and or sex. So. If these two bones fall together, you might say that the spirit of love is active in the reading. And again, whether it falls in the past, present, or future, you would interpret that. Um, let's go with uh, back to the evil eye bone. This could represent the spirit of jealousy. Maybe someone is working against you or your relationship and they're attacking your partner or you by putting the spirit of jealousy in your life to break you up. Um, what else is here? Oh, the key bone. Now this, this is, I call it the key bone or the bone of opportunity. And I've had this key about 15 years. My mother gave it to me right before I left South Carolina and moved to Washington State. And I've been here about 13 years, I believe. So, um, I, I really carried this around with me on my keychain for a long time to open up doors for me and honestly to close some behind in the past. So 
If the spirit bone and the key bone fall next to each other, you might say that the spirit of opportunity is working in your life for you. So these are a couple of ways that the bones may be read uh, in combination. I was also thinking here that, let's do this. Sometimes the bones will fall and make shapes. So right here, this is the air bone and the opportunity bone. And let's say they fell this way, they formed a T. So it's almost like you see here the air bone came and hit the opportunity. It's blocked. This can represent a block. So you might say that your thoughts are blocking your opportunities here. Or if you want to be a little bit more literal, it might be more like that. Your thoughts are blocking your opportunity. Um, what else could we say here? Um, I think that's pretty much it. So this is just a quick video to show you how the meaning of a bone can change in relation to how it falls among other bones. One way that you can get a feel for this is um, you can make divination a daily practice for yourself. And what you can do is take your bones and reach your hand into your basket or what have you and just pull one out without really looking at it. And then you will write down what you think that bone means in a special diary or book, or you can um, e you know, email yourself. One thing I do a lot of times every day, if you follow me on Instagram, I do some type of divination every day. It's either I pull a card, I look at um, astrology, I pull a bone, something I do. And I write what I think it means. And then at the end of the day, I go back and I read what I wrote to see how the meaning of that bone or card or what have you um, expressed itself in my life that day. So that's something that you can do. And once you get comfortable doing pulling one bone a day and writing about it and meditating on what it means and then reviewing your day, you can try pulling um, two bones and then reading them in pairs for that day. And then you can just kind of grow out from there. All right, so that's enough on bone relationships. Thank you for um, spending these last 15 minutes with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to share this video across your social media platforms.